Greetings, it's Maxo Diddley here, and today I am here with another Java tutorial to help you get an A in your coursework or exam. And today we are here with how to read the contents of a CSV or a text file, or any file that has text separated by commas, or a delimiter of your choice, into a 2D list. So let's get right into it. Firstly, uh, if you're in NetBeans, you can right click on your project, go to properties, and this is going to be the the folder with your project. I am going to be putting my file with my data right here so I can just reference the file name. You can put it wherever you want, just make sure you get the file path correct. And if you look at the file, it's basically a bunch of names of Pokemon that are separated by commas, but if you notice here, there's different amount of Pokemon names on each line. And this is going to show you that this works for data that has different amount of fields per line. So let's get right into the code. Firstly, make sure you import these libraries up here. We'll be needing these for this tutorial. So firstly, we are going to do four lines of code. We're going to do string data to read equals file.txt. This will work for CSV files or any file format that has text, basically. And then we're going to do string line, which is going to be the current line in the file that we're reading. String delimiter is going to be us defining our delimiter what's going to separate each field of a record. In this case, it's a comma, but you can change it if you want to. Then we're going to do list, list, string, data, equals new array list. So you might be thinking, Max, what are you doing here? We are creating a 2D string list. So it's a, a string list where each element contains its own string list. So we're going to do try. And then in the brackets of the try, we're going to do buffered reader, br equals new buffered reader, new file reader, data to read. So we are going to be creating a buffered reader, and this is going to be our object that's going to be responsible for reading the file. And we use the file reader to basically give the buffered reader the file that we want to read. And inside the file reader, we put data to read because that's the file path. And we can put this in the brackets of the try statement. And for the catch, we do catch IO exception E, system dot dot print line E. So we're going to be checking for input output errors, which could occur when doing file handling. And if it does, we print out the error message. Inside, we are going to be doing a while loop. So we're going to do while line equals br dot read line not equal to null. So basically, we're going to be looping through the file until we have no more lines left. And we can do this by checking if the value of line is equal to null. Because if we do br.readLine, but there's no more lines to read, then line is going to have a value of null assigned to it. So we can check if it's not equal to null. If it's not equal to null, that means there's a line to read, and we can then execute the code in our while loop. So we do string array values equals line.split delimiter. So we're going to be creating a temporary string array, and we're going to give it all of the data on the line. And each element of this array is going to contain one field found in this CSV file, or one Pokemon name. And we can use the string.split function, and we can pass in our delimiter to tell the function, okay, this is how I want you to give the data and portion it out to our array. I want everything up to the comma to go into one element everything after that up to the next comma to go into the next element, and so on. And then what we do is we do data, which is our 2D list, dot add arrays dot as list values. So we're just converting now this string array back into the string list format, and we're just going to be adding it to our 2D string list. And we do this for every line in the file. After that, we are going to do a for loop. So we're going to do for list string row colon data system dot dot print line row so we're going to be looping through every row in our data 2d list array so basically we're going to be printing out each individual string list in our 2d string list array so we're going to be printing out every single line in this array essentially with all that let's hit play as you can see we've printed out every line of this file from the list. And as you can also see, the lines have been preserved. You know, Quagsire was on its own line and it's got its own line. So yeah, that's how we can read data from a file into a 2D string list. 
So thanks for being a great audience, be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more Java tutorials.